Thank you, uh, Chairman Markley, Mr. Uh, Ranking Member Marshall, and distinguished members. It's my pleasure to appear before you today to reflect on the innovations reducing the healthcare cost of poor nutrition. My name is Carter Williams. I'm an engineer uh, with a degree from Rensselaer and MIT. Over the last 35 years, I've focused on innovation in complex systems, spanning aerospace, energy, agriculture, and health. I served in senior roles in Boeing's Phantom Works and several successful startups. Since 2014, I have led iSelect, a venture fund focused on the theme, Food is Health, investing in more than 70 ag tech and health tech startups. Over those 10 years, we have also met with more than 5,000 entrepreneurs, and this is what we have learned. The U.S. spends 1.7 trillion on food and 1.9 trillion on the healthcare cost of poor nutrition. Type 2 diabetes kills 283 Americans every day. Goldman Sachs has concluded that the U.S. GDP would grow 1% annually if we cured obesity. In 2000, the U.S. sequenced the human genome, launching companies with breakthroughs in immunotherapy and vaccines, reshaping treatments in healthcare. But we still have a problem that, can't be solved, that can be solved with similar thinking. For 350,000 years, humans were thin. In the last 50 years, we're fat and diabetic. Innovation is stepping in. In the near future, grocery stores will offer seamless access to a nutritional coaching to get you better food through medically tailored meals or natural low-cost forms of Ozempic. You eat what you enjoy, and what you enjoy is better and affordable. Your calorie intake is 25% less than your parents, 45% less from processed food. You lose weight and gain muscle mass. Regenerative vegetables, frozen or fresh, are tasty, nutrient-dense, and affordable. Beef managed on grasslands with virtual fences are net carbon positive, deliver balanced omega-3s and 6s in reducing clogged arteries. Processed foods are sweet and tasty, but zero diabetic impact, made with healthy sugars from agricultural waste. Prebiotics fuel your gut microbiome. You sleep better and you have less depression. Medical care is now functional medicine, forestalling disease, easily accessed. Health data is part of the grocery store mobile apps. The app knows your genome, your blood work, your blood pressure, and the food you purchase. Integrated into your health insurance, reminding you of quality choices. Everyone gets the standard of care. Comorbidities are a distant memory. Your health data is protected by the blockchain, anonymized, integrated into synthetic control arm models, comparing your genetics and health to peer groups improving the work at FDA. Inspired by the original Human Genome Project, innovation is driven by the Human Microbiome Project, the Human Nutrition Project, the Soil Microbiome Project, all working to improve the quality of the data we use for our science. Not all crops are healthy. Their nutrients vary. In-field spectroscopy reveal the array of nutrients in meat, fish, vegetables, and grains, a form of nutritional quality control, empowering farmers, ranchers, CPGs, and processors to optimize nutrient density and cost. Product labels are accurate and complete. Startups use AI to scan every journal and historical artifact to find natural solutions that improve health, testing thousands of natural products against digital twin of human nutrition in billions of configurations and speeding the development of new technology replacing an array of pharmaceuticals with quality nutrients. Farmers have transitioned to biologics that rebuild the soil microbiome, improving crop nutrient intake. Crops are robust against disease, drought, and weeds. UAVs use precision sprayers and lasers to reduce chemicals, improving farmer profits, increasing yield, and safer food. These technologies are all real. They all exist today. Some are controversial some more affordable, but more than enough to reduce the healthcare costs of poor nutrition. American entrepreneurs in agriculture, food, and health, working with FDA, USDA, NIH, and other NGOs, can solve this problem, lowering costs, improving sustainability, increasing longevity, and driving GDP growth. Thank you.